Moving along, again, with Eye of Lucifer symbology. Now we can understand this image completely. Marilyn Manson and the use of this distinction of the eye in this contact lens. It is the Eye of Lucifer. This now variants, and so we can understand, here's Lady Gaga, the use of this one-eye symbolism in just covering the eye, all of this symbology, one-eyes, and now here is a variant on that um, one-eye symbolism in costumes and the decoration of that eye. Here we have Beyonce. This is Madonna. Beyonce here, um, and this is another reference. Now this is a butterfly, and it's called the monarch butterfly, and that's what uh, it's called monarch programming and this has to do with satanic ritual abuse and I don't want to freak you out now but there is a programming of even these actors and actresses uh, and other people in the world that is suspect and the, it stems from uh, projects in Nazi Germany one called Project Paperclip and the other is um, uh, MK Ultra and then we have this idea of monarch programming and that has to reference to the monarch butter, butterfly. I don't get into that too much but it, there's a reference to that and an understanding that toward the end uh, of part two. Uh, again, variants on covering the eye, the decoration of one eye, covering of one eye with just the hair. We can understand now this. Here is a diamond shaped piece of jewelry and she's putting this triangle in the eye. And this is Jordine Sparks. She was an American Idol, I believe. And here's Adele. This is Teen Vogue and the covering of the eye, one eye symbolism. Now just blinking the eye, when it's on a magazine cover, it's suspecting, I suspect it immediately. And this is just a variant of one eye symbolism. This is Wiz Khalifa. This is Drake doing the same thing on a magazine cover. Now in rap, you have another variant of the triangle being used doing the same thing. Are they brothers? Are they really promoting the religion in their own fashion? And they're doing it uh, uniformly across the board. Here's Tupac. He was murdered. And I believe, it is my belief that Tupac wanted to be out of this whole Illuminati thing, and therefore they killed him. So uh, when you're in the club, it is be in the club and if you want out, you die. It's like mafia stuff. And we're going to see this reference to uh, the way that the mafia works and secret societies work and where it stems from uh, later. So this is a, a, a Snoop Doggy Dog uh, video. And this is Satan, a representation of Satan. And Satan does this pyramid sign. And you can see that reference there. So they are promoting both Satan does this sign and that pyramid uh sign. Reverend Al Sharpton, he's not a reverend. He's hanging out partying with Christina Aguilera and they're doing the triangle. Any which way that you can do the symbol is the way that they want to indoctrinate you, uh, program you into their religion. Bono again and covering the eye and this peace symbol which is actually a sign of the benediction we'll get into that in a couple more sections after this and he's very well knighted uh, papal knighthoods that he has and very active on the global scene to bring in this new world order you can see the all-seeing eye the eye of lucifer with the pentagram within the eye and that tattoo this is a uh, uh, Chris Angel, the magician, and he works at the Luxor, so yes, he likes to do the pyramid. And of course, his friend that he's with, he has the, uh, looks like the compass and the, uh, instead of a square, it's a razor. Wearing a cross, oh, they love to wear crosses. It's all it is, is decoration. And so he also wears the pyramid with eye. Yeah, I wanted to show you this. This is um, Bruno Mars, and he's uh, was locally grown here where I live in Hawaii. And I took this uh, image off of Palladia. This is a video, and it's called a lazy song. He before the video actually begins, he adjusts the camera, and he makes this pyramid sign uh, with his hands in adjusting the camera. So in a sense, you're looking through this triangular eye, uh, and the video is about being lazy and it's about teen masturbation and sex and I'm gonna tell you uh, these guys are all about that genre uh, and this fascination with all of this 
this stuff, including uh, uh, pornography and sex and all of that stuff. So you have here uh, a variance, again, variance, variance of the Eye of Lucifer and Ozzy Osbourne and three versions of that, see, uh, that he covers one side of that, that um, uh, eye. And of course, he's got the uh, crucifix there. Believe me, it's not Christian. And when uh, here's Lionel Richie. Moving on, these are models, and so you can see the indoctrination that they have. They are children that are grown up this way, and so they do this as signs of allegiance. This is uh, Asian. Uh, I believe that's an Asian magazine. Here, I believe this is Tori Amos. I could be completely wrong, but Tori Amos, that artist, um, even the lyrics, she has um, Lucifer uh, in the lyrics, and a song, and I believe, entitled that way. And then this is a reference to the forbidden fruit uh, in the Bible. It's not uh, say it doesn't say that it was an apple, but the apple is the, that favorite fruit to represent that forbidden fruit. So you have this dual symbology reference of the forbidden fruit and the covering of that eye with Lucifer here. I just want you to understand in context with these key images, you can see uh, what it references. And Dow Punk, that band I used to like. And here's their uh, ad for their concert. This is their album cover called Alive. And you can see the pyramid with capstone. And here's that concert itself. And again, doing the same thing that Jay-Z made popular, which is that pyramid sign. This is across the board genre. Artists are supposed to not be copying each other. But we're coming to an age where everything is being now globalized and so the world is coming together that Daniel kingdom of seven chapter 7 43 is that last kingdom and all of this is moving toward that one world government sounds great uh, from a, a non Christian perspective or non believers perspective sounds great but I'm gonna tell you that's the trap and we got to understand and seek what it is that they want and really this order out of chaos what's happening now they perpetrate all these wars in the name of god i told you this and i want you to recognize this as we go along in this that it really isn't about saving the planet it's about saving your soul and making that decision and that uh, god is going to clean this whole place up uh, so he's going to be the one that saves earth and restores it so uh, i know it sounds fantastic please um, bear with me here. This is 2008. The um, uh, Grammy, not Grammy, but MTV Awards. There's Rihanna in the pyramid and that pyramid. Glastonbury is a very pagan, ancient pagan site in England. And you can see the stage. This one actually collapsed and killed, pe uh, killed people. Uh, there was news about that. Glastonbury and the use of the triangle. Uh, Muse is a band that is popular. We're going to have a case study of that in part two. And they actually did the uh, theme song for the 2012 Olympics. This is G12, uh, 2012 Summit, G20, 2012 Mexico. And you can see the Mayan pyramid uh, motif in plan and the golden uncapped pyramid. Moving along, Gary Newman, a little bit more before my generation, early in my generation. Uh, the pre pleasure principle, of course, the dual symbology of the I being shown on one side, white and black, dual symbolism, symbolism, and the pyramid. Earth, Wind, and Fire, all about Egypt and the occult, and they have their albums are riddled with all of that. Great songs, yeah, they don't look satanic at all, but when you understand the reference between Egypt and, and Luciferianism, this is, you can understand what they are. It's not just uh, pitchforks and guys in red suits, uh, heavy metal stuff. Asia, uh, a band my sister used to listen to, and you can see this sea dragon uh, and the pyramid. Def Leppard, my generation, and the pyramid with the eye. Pink Floyd, the dark side of the moon, I think that is the album cover. Uh, Charisse, and this is a popular art, uh, puppet now, I don't like to call them artists again, and the pyramids. And she does a lot more symbolism than, than just that. This is a movie called Coraline. Coraline is a uh, an animation. When she puts this eyepiece, triangular eyepiece, in her eye, she sees everything and sees the spirit world. And so this is a clear reference to that eye being an, an eye of illumination. And it is a satanic eye of illumination. Cartoons. There's Sarah Palin on a uh, magazine 
cover, you can see the reference to pyramids and this one eye symbolism. Now, if you don't think that this particular piece is the pyramid with a capstone, there is a commercial on the internet that shows you that that's the case, uh, that they build this pyramid and at the end it tilts into position. They own everything, they own your history, they only tell you what they want you to hear, they do expose some secret societies to a certain extent, but they don't, they leave you guessing at the end and de deceive you into understanding that is pure Luciferian doctrine within those secret societies.